Okay, so I recently started using a CNC machine and I wanted to make a sign with a font called Frutera. Um, so I can show you what that looks like. And I just wanted this font to say Quiet Room. So here's Frutera in this font. And now a CNC machine needs paths. So the way that you would normally get that is type create outlines in Illustrator. And now if you look at this path, you can see we've got a path that goes all the way around the text and a path on the inside of the text. Um, the easiest way to, to illustrate that is to convert it to a stroke. And now you can see CNC machine would go around these letters around this letter. Um, the problem is, say my, I'm using a eighth inch bit, so my stroke would be 0.125. So if I want to make a sign uh, with that eighth inch bit, you can see this text is too small. So in order to get something that would work, I would have to make a much larger sign. If I want anything smaller than that, it's probably not going to work. And even then, the, the black is showing you where the, the bit is going to route out of the wood. So if I wanted to make that, say, not just an engraving, but cut all the way through the wood, this white area is going to be my text inside the black, and that's probably too thin. It's probably going to break. Um, so it's not really a practical uh, method of making a sign. What would be easier is if just the black was a single path. Now, I researched um, different ways to convert text into a single path, and surprisingly, there's very little out there that does it. Uh, uh, apparently, CorelDRAW can do it. Um, I'm not sure how well. Essentially, what it does is it converts your text to a raster image, and then it sort of traces the center line of that raster image. So it's sort of like live trace. It's not super accurate. Um, and also, you can see here, uh, CorelDRAW is $469. Um, so then I noticed that um, there's a plugin for a program called Inkscape. Inkscape is an open source program, sort of like Illustrator. It's a really great program. Uh, not always super user friendly, but um, uh, a great option if you're looking for, for something free. Um, and then if you go to this GitHub repository, you can download this Inkscape centerline trace. Um, so the problem with Inkscape Centerline, well, there's a few things um, about Inkscape Centerline Trace. It relies on a program for your computer called AutoTrace, um, and it doesn't automatically install that. And now you can install them in your Inkscape directory. So it's not super intuitive where that is, um, but if you go to your applications, find Inkscape, and right click here, do show package contents. Go into the contents folder, go into the resources folder, go into the share folder, and go to Inkscape. And now you'll see extensions, and this is where you paste it. So just paste it in here. You can see I've got centerline trace.inx, centerline trace.py. And now if I were to open up Inkscape, um, I can take this file and centerline trace it. But you can't just, uh, you know, save out text as an SVG or as a font file um, and open it up in Inkscape. If I try to do that, uh, centerline trace can be found under extensions, images, centerline trace. It brings up some options. If I hit apply, it gets an error. Uh, you know, try object on group. You could try that. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, what it needs is a raster image. And so, in order to do that, you know, you would need to go into Illustrator or wherever you were typing this thing, and do uh, and, and save it out as a as a JPEG or a GIF or a PNG. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already done it. And now, 
If I open that file, that PNG file, and select it, and do extension, extensions, images, centerline trace, uh, I can trace the image. Uh, I'm going to just leave the defaults for now so you can see how it works. And you can play with these to see what works best for you. Uh, this will take a while, actually. These aren't the defaults. I, I changed this to 255. If you change this to 1, which is the default, I think it's super quick. Uh, but that just basically runs a bunch of iterations to find the best center line. Um, and you can see it has now uh, traced my font. And it did a pretty... Eh, well, actually, it doesn't do the best job. So you can see it turned it into something like Comic Sans. So I would have to go into uh, Illustrator and clean this up. It might do better with other fonts. I'm not sure. I had to go into Illustrator and clean it up. It didn't take long. Uh, arguably, might have been faster with this font to just draw the paths in Illustrator myself. Um, but that is how you would get a single stroke font. So if I go now into Illustrator, it's a little easier to see, um, and open up this file that Inkscape created, uh, you can see it's just a single path. So if I were to CNC route this, it would just follow this single path, this single path, you know, it wouldn't have to, we don't have to worry about the uh, the width of the bit, it's just going to be carving this out. Um, it's not going to be carving sort of like a double line, so I can make my document much smaller without having to worry. Um, you can see it's at like uh, 12 inches right now, but uh, you know, now it's at uh, six inches, it's still fine, you could keep going down from there before it gets sort of too thick um, to do a, a good job carving. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so that's how you centerline trace on a Mac in Inkscape for CNC routing.